Good morning and welcome to the approved clinician conference, Building the Workforce of the Future. Today is very much about sort of celebrating the extended roles that other professions other than medicine can actually develop and today is about sharing the good practice that many people are actually involved in across the country, bringing that network of people together and thinking how we might support them going forward. For HEE this is a really exciting conference and actually has come as a perfect time. Devon Partnership Trust is no different than a lot of organisations that we really, really struggle to recruit consultant psychiatrists. Shouldn't we be thinking quite differently about how we would want our workforce to be developed in the future and should we be looking at extended roles? It's about us bringing the approved clinicians from around the country. It's a growing, growing workforce and obviously it's around those disciplines reaching the top of their clinical careers and working in clinical practice which I think is a fantastic opportunity. Health Education England, our role is very much around assuring that there's the right workforce with the right skills and the right competencies in the right place at the right time. The 2007 Act widened the range of professionals able to undertake the functions which were previously performed by the responsible medical officer and those instructions provide that these professionals must meet one of the professional requirements possess the relevant competencies, have undertaken the appropriate training and have been approved. In terms of taking this work forward and making a difference not just to individual patients but in terms of uh, having an effect on the systems in which we work, then clinical leadership is key. And I'm a social worker and an approved clinician. I hope you don't mind me drawing an analogy from what Winston Churchill said. In relation to this very issue, he was saying, success is not failure, failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. And I think that's really true in terms of the non-medical AC role because of the, the perseverance that's required. You need to be able to upskill frontline staff to actively make those decisions and follow through some of those decisions. I'm in charge of the Mental Health Act. And the bit where we spent the most time on was, was workforce. It's just the bottleneck, isn't it? So it really kind of struck me as I was doing this today. This is a kind of really important initiative that's happening in Devon. And I, you know, speaking from the government's point of view, I really appreciate it. I think it's been remarkable really just to see how much energy there's been in the room and how much enthusiasm that there has been. So it's really about local initiatives like this, working with, with Health Education England to kind of really make things happen and really to encourage people and get people through the process. At the moment we have like 68 non-medic ACs, if we can get that up to 100 and beyond I think we'll really start to see some difference. It's been a great opportunity to come along down to the southwest to uh, meet with colleagues from a range of backgrounds to have an opportunity to talk about how they might move forward with the introduction of non-medical proof clinicians to really help develop both services for uh, improving patient care and to help organisations better deliver their targets. It's been a really exciting event. For me, some of the key things have come out about what a difference some of these roles can make in trusts that feedback from service users about really what difference the roles have made to them. It was just a reflection really and it was when, when Matthew was speaking and talking about the issues with workforce being central to the delivery of sort of the mental health developments and the plans that the government has. I suppose what was in my mind was well how do we sort of kick that back to Matthew and to Health Education England and say well look this has been the law now for 10 years Look at the low uptake, look at the geographical variation. What are you doing about promoting and supporting and holding services and tr trust to account for not promoting and progressing this? But maybe that's something we need to have a conversation with you about. So it's just to give you warning really, Matthew, we're, we're coming for you. <laughs> just looking at the numbers, looking at the difference between what they've achieved in the north and what we still need to do in London, for example just goes to show that it's all to play for and this is why uh, I came today and this is why I've been so encouraging for the work that's taken forward here. I'd really be interested to see what we can learn um, from, from what you've managed to do here and how we can share the good practice uh, and spread the good words nationally in the months and years to come.